10 Golden Artifacts That Will Amaze You In the depths of the Earth's embrace, where the sun's rays dare not penetrate, lies a substance of ethereal allure, a metal of celestial provenance, gold. Unblemished by time's relentless touch, it glimmers with an otherworldly radiance, a beacon of ageless beauty in a world of ephemeral splendor. From the dawn of human consciousness, this enigmatic element has captivated our imaginations, weaving itself into the tapestry of our myths and legends. Its malleability, a testament to its divine essence, allows us to shape it into objects of exquisite artistry, imbuing them with an aura of timeless grace. Unaffected by the ravages of time, gold bears the indelible imprint of civilizations long vanished, whispering tales of forgotten grandeur and forgotten wisdom. Its presence in ancient artifacts serves as a poignant reminder of our fleeting existence, a stark contrast to the enduring brilliance of this celestial metal. metal. In the hushed halls of museums, these golden relics stand as silent sentinels, their polished surfaces reflecting the ephemeral nature of humankind. They are tangible vestiges of a bygone era, frozen in time, their enigmatic beauty a testament to the enduring power of human creativity. 1. Priam's Treasure In the realm of archaeology, Heinrich Schliemann stands as a figure shrouded in enigma, a man whose legacy is entwined with both brilliance and controversy. His unwavering belief in the historical veracity of Homer's epic Iliad led him on an audacious quest to unearth the fabled city of Troy, a pursuit that would forever alter the landscape of the discipline. With unwavering conviction and the financial backing of his self-made fortune, Schliemann embarked on an excavation at the site of Hisarlik in modern-day Turkey, driven by an insatiable desire to validate his convictions. His efforts were rewarded with the discovery of an ancient city cement to his unwavering belief in the Trojan myth. However, his relentless pursuit of Priam's legendary treasure, fueled by an almost obsessive desire to solidify his theory, led to the destruction of invaluable archaeological evidence. The discovery of a cache of golden and silver artifacts, christened Priam's treasure, marked a pivotal moment in Schliemann's quest. These magnificent diadems, crafted from hundreds of intricately hammered pieces of gold, served as tangible proof of his unwavering belief in the Trojan myth. However, his triumph was tainted by the clandestine manner in which the treasure was smuggled out of Turkey, forever casting a shadow over his legacy. Fate, it seemed, was not content to leave Priam's treasure at rest. In the aftermath of the Second World War, the Soviet forces seized the treasure, transporting it to Russia, where it remains to this day. The whereabouts of the treasure, shrouded in secrecy and controversy, have fueled enduring debates about ownership and repatriation, adding another layer of mystery to the enigmatic tale of Priam's treasure. 2. Orphic Gold Tablets Delving into the enigmatic realm of ancient burial practices, archaeologists often encounter a fragmented tapestry of evidence, a few scattered bones, perhaps accompanied by trinkets left with the departed soul. However, in the classical world, a beacon of clarity emerges in the form of written texts, meticulously inscribed on sheets of gold, accompanying the deceased on their final journey. These enigmatic relics, known as Toten Pass or Passports for the Dead, serve as celestial navigation guides, illuminating the path to the afterlife of choice. These ethereal passports, ubiquitous across diverse religions and cults of the ancient world, embody a fervent pursuit of eternal bliss. One such specimen from Bulgaria and dating back to around 500 BC has been bestowed with the distinction of being the world's oldest book. Its six adorned golden sheets, meticulously bound together, bear inscriptions in Etruscan, a language spoken by an enigmatic civilization that thrived in Italy prior to the Roman ascent. The enigmatic contents of these totem paths remain shrouded in mystery, their decipherment a tantalizing puzzle for linguists and historians alike. While their precise purpose and the rituals associated with them remain veiled, their presence underscores the profound belief in an afterlife, where the written word served as a celestial compass, guiding the deceased towards their eternal destination. Embedded within these enigmatic texts lies a profound yearning for transcendence, a testament to humanity's enduring quest for meaning and immortality. Hality. The Toten Pass, crafted from shimmering gold, embody this yearning, 
their very materiality symbolizing the enduring nature of the soul and its unyielding pursuit of eternal bliss. As we continue to unravel the enigmas of the past, the Toten Pass stand as poignant reminders of humanity's enduring fascination with the afterlife, their contents whispering tales of ancient rituals and profound beliefs. They serve as tangible links to civilizations long vanished, their presence echoing across the vast expanse of time. 3. Within the depths of South America, a land of emerald jungles and towering peaks, tales of unimaginable riches captivated the imaginations of European conquistadors. Lured by whispers of golden cities and glittering treasures, they ventured across vast oceans, their hearts ablaze with dreams of unlocking the secrets of El Dorado, the mythical realm of the Golden One. While their quests, while their quests for elusive riches often yielded disappointment, the lands they traversed held wonders of a different kind. Among the pre-Columbian civilizations that flourished in this region were masterful artisans, their hands deftly shaping gold into exquisite works of art. These creations, imbued with profound cultural significance, stood as testaments to the ingenuity and artistry of these ancient peoples. One such treasure, the Muisca Raft, also known as the El Dorado Raft, now resides in the Gold Museum of Bogota. This intricate miniature raft, carved from a single piece of gold, depicts a ceremonial scene that holds profound significance for understanding the Muisca people and their beliefs. The raft's intricate carvings illustrate a pivotal moment in the Muisca initiation ceremony, a ritual that transformed the newly appointed chief into the embodiment of the Golden One. As part of the ceremony, the chief would be covered in gold, du in gold dust, transforming into a shimmering figure reminiscent of the sun's radiant glow. Rode into the center of a sacred lake, he would wash away the gold dust, leaving behind offerings of precious metals and gems as a tribute to the gods. Unearthed in 1969 by farmers in the Colombian countryside, the Muisca raft serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of gold in pre-Columbian cultures. Beyond its material value, gold held profound symbolic significance, representing the sun's life-giving power, the wealth of the earth, and the divine connection between the human realm and the cosmos. The Muisca raft, a testament to the artistry and cultural heritage of the Muisca people, stands as a silent guardian of ancient secrets. Its intricate carvings whisper tales of a world transformed by gold, where the divine and the earthly intertwined, and where the quest for riches was not merely a pursuit of wealth, but a journey toward spiritual enlightenment. 4. The Broider Horde From the dawn of human consciousness, the sea has captivated our imaginations, its vast expanse a realm of mystery and wonder. Yet, it was also a formidable adversary, a tempestuous force that could unleash its fury upon unsuspecting mariners. Thus, boats emerged as symbols of human ingenuity and resilience, vessels that defied the wrath of the oceans, bridging the gap between the known and the unknown. In the depths of ancient Ireland, a remarkable discovery unfolded in 1896, unearthing a treasure trove of golden artifacts that defied explanation. The Broider Horde, Buried beneath the soil for millennia, revealed a captivating collection of objects, each imbued with an aura of otherworldly beauty. Among these treasures lay a magnificent golden boat, its intricate details meticulously crafted by skilled artisans. Its presence within the hoard sparked a flurry of, specula a flurry of speculations, each theory attempting to unravel the enigmatic significance of this celestial vessel. One compelling narrative suggests that the golden boat was an offering to Mananan Mac Lyre, a revered sea god in Irish mythology. Mananan, the lord of the underworld and ruler of the otherworld, was a master of shapeshifting, often appearing as a warrior, a horse, or a mist. His dominion over the sea and the otherworld made him a formidable figure, revered by ancient mariners seeking protection from the tempestuous waters. The golden boat, with its delicate oars and intricate carvings, may have served as a symbolic offering to appease Mananan, seeking his favor and protection for those who dared to venture into the depths of the sea. It's among the Broider Horde suggests a profound reverence for the sea and its enigmatic guardians, a testament to the enduring power of myth and ritual in shaping human understanding of the natural world. While the true purpose of the golden boat remains shrouded in mystery, 
Its presence within the broider horde serves as a poignant reminder of the profound connection between ancient civilizations and the sea. The boat's delicate beauty and enigmatic symbolism embody the enduring allure of the sea, a realm of boundless possibilities and enigmatic depths. 5. The Staffordshire Horde Beneath the rolling hills and verdant fields of England, a treasure trove of unimaginable splendor lay entombed for centuries, its existence a secret whispered only by the earth itself. In 2009, a fortuitous twist of fate unveiled this hidden bounty, the Staffordshire Hoard, a mesmerizing collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver artifacts. Surpassing even the fabled glories of Sutton Hoo, the Staffordshire Hoard stands as an unparalleled testament to the artistry and craftsmanship of the Anglo-Saxon era. Comprising over 4,600 fragments, meticulously crafted from precious metals, this hoard offers a captivating glimpse into the lives, beliefs, and martial prowess of a bygone era. Enigmatic in its origins, the Staffordshire hoard has sparked a flurry of theories and conjectures. Its sheer size and military nature suggest a hoard amassed through conquest, a collection of spoils from vanquished foes. The presence of exquisitely decorated swords, helmets, and other accoutrements of war paints a vivid picture of an Anglo-Saxon warrior society, where martial prowess was both revered and rewarded. Yet, the Horde's origins remain elusive, its true story shrouded in the mists of time. Was it a carefully concealed cache of wealth, buried for, buried for safekeeping in times of turmoil? or perhaps a symbolic offering to the gods, a testament to the power and prestige of its owner? Regardless of its precise provenance, the Staffordshire Horde stands as a mesmerizing enigma, a tangible link to a forgotten era. Its intricate craftsmanship and enigmatic origins serve as a constant reminder of the enduring allure of gold, a symbol of wealth, power, and the enduring legacy of a civilization long vanished. 6. Saka Gold Across the vast expanse of the Eurasian steppes, a nomadic people known as the Saka reigned supreme, their lives intertwined with the untamed spirit of the horse. These intrepid warriors, masters of their domain, left behind a legacy of enigmatic wealth, their tombs adorned with treasures of shimmering gold, a testament to their power and enduring allure. Surrounded by the boundless expanse of the steppes, the sucked majestic mounds, silent sentinels, that stood as eternal tributes to their departed leaders. These earthworks, imposing yet enigmatic, beckoned archaeologists with the promise of hidden treasures, whispering tales of a civilization defined by both martial prowess and a profound reverence for the afterlife. In the depths of one such mound, known as Arzen II, archaeologists unearthed a trove of golden artifacts, a mesmerizing spectacle that defied the traditional perception of nomadic life. Two skeletal figures, presumed to be the revered leaders of the Saka, lay at the heart of this subterranean treasure trove, surrounded by the opulent offerings of their loyal subjects. 9,300 golden objects, weighing nearly 44 pounds, adorned the tomb, their intricate craftsmanship and shimmering brilliance a testament to the Saka's mastery of metallurgy. Gold earrings, necklaces, and intricate appliques adorned the skeletal figures, while an abun abundance of gold figurines, vessels, and weapons filled the surrounding chambers. The sheer opulence of Arzen II's contents shattered the perception of the Saka as mere nomadic herders, revealing a civilization that reveled in the richness of their material world. The presence of gold in such abundance suggests a society that valued not only martial prowess, but also the tangible manifestations of wealth and power. Yet, the allure of gold proved irresistible to even the most honorable of societies. Evidence of an ancient grave-robbing attempt marred the sanctity of Arzen II, a stark reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the gleaming metal. The perpetrators, their intentions driven by greed rather than reverence, had narrowly missed their mark, leaving the mark, leaving the true riches undisturbed for centuries to come. The Saka's opulent burial practices, exemplified by the treasures of Arzen II, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the enigmatic world of these nomadic warriors. Their reverence for gold, their mastery of craftsmanship, and the allure of their hidden treasures continue to captivate and intrigue, underscoring the enduring power of wealth and the timeless allure of the steppes. 7. Ram in a Thicket 
Amidst the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers wove their life-giving threads, civilizations flourished, pioneers in the dawn of urbanity and literacy. The city of Eridu, a beacon of human ingenuity, emerged around 5400 BC, marking the genesis of a remarkable era. Over the ensuing millennia, these Mesopotamian cities, cradled between the rivers' embrace, transformed into formidable states, their power nurtured by commerce and conquest. Renowned for their opulence, these civilizations reveled in the splendor of gold, adorning their creations with shimmering brilliance. In the depths of the British Museum's vaults, a captivating artifact, the ram in a thicket, silently beckons visitors. Crafted from gold, shell, and lapis lazuli, this enigmatic figure, more akin to a goat than a ram, stands poised amidst a flowering shrub. Discovered at Chen city of Uar, its origins trace back to approximately 2500 BC. Unearthed from the Royal Cemetery of Uar, a site aptly named the Great Death Pit, the ram remains shrouded in mystery. Its exact purpose eludes scholars, though some speculate it served as a support for a ceremonial bowl. A pair of these enigmatic figures were found within the tomb, their presence hinting at a deeper significance. The ram in a thicket, a tangible echo of a bygone era, stands as a testament to the Mesopotamian civilization's profound reverence for gold. Its intricate craftsmanship, a fusion of precious materials, embodies the ingenuity and artistic prowess of these ancient societies. As we delve into the enigmas of the past, the ram in a thicket remains an enigmatic sentinel, its silent gaze captivating our imaginations. It whispers tales of lost civilizations, their wealth and power, their enduring fascina fascination with the gleaming metal that has captivated humanity for millennia. 8. Varna Man In the realm of archaeology, few discoveries have stirred the imagination quite like the Varna Necropolis, an enigmatic burial site that emerged from the depths of Bulgarian soil in 1972. Dating back to around 4500 BC, this necropolis, the earliest known of its kind, unveiled a treasure trove of golden artifacts, each whispering tales of a civilization long vanished. Among the 300 graves that graced the Varna necropolis, one stood out in its opulence, Grave 43. The individual interred within, dubbed Varna Man, was adorned with an astonishing array of golden ornaments, a testament to his immense wealth and prestige. Shimmering gold discs adorned his garments, while thick golden pendants cascaded down his chest. Bracelet axes with gilded handles, and an even a golden sheath for his penis further enriched his attire, transforming him into a radiant figure even in death. The sheer abundance of gold found in Varna Man's grave has sparked a flurry of theories regarding his identity. Some believe he was a ruler, his wealth a direct reflection of his exalted position within Varna society. Others posit that he may have been a skilled goldsmith, his mastery of the precious metal, granting him immense status and influence. Whatever his role, Varna Man's opulent burial remains a poignant reminder of the profound significance of gold in the Varna culture. This precious metal, imbued with both symbolic and material value, served as a badge of honor, a testament to power, prestige, and the enduring belief in an afterlife. The Varna Necropolis, with its enigmatic treasures and enigmatic figures like Varna Man, continues to captivate archaeologists and historians and historians alike, offering tantalizing glimpses into a civilization that thrived on the shores of the Black Sea millennia ago. The sheer opulence of the burial practices, the intricate craftsmanship of the golden artifacts, and the enduring allure of gold underscore the enduring power of wealth and the timeless fascination with the past. Gold Curse Tablets From the depths of the ancient world, a chilling whisper emerges, echoing through the corridors of time, the enigmatic curse tablets. These potent artifacts, imbued with a blend of desperation and faith, served as conduits for invoking divine retribution upon those who had wronged or betrayed. Crafted from metal, often lead, these tablets bore the weight of unspoken curses, their surfaces etched with pleas for vengeance and misfortune. The ancient Romans and Greeks, renowned for their intricate rituals and reverence for the gods, resorted to these potent charms in moments of desperation, seeking divine intervention to rectify their grievances. 
In the heart of Serbia, an extraordinary discovery unfolded in 2016, unearthing a collection of cursed tablets that defied conventional understanding. Unlike their leaden counterparts, these tablets were fashioned from gold and silver, precious metals imbued with a mista. The inscriptions carved upon these tablets were not mere pleas or threats, they were intricate magical spells, their language a fusion of Aramaic words and the Greek alphabet. The complexity of these inscriptions suggests a profound understanding of the occult, a mastery of ancient languages, and the manipulation of supernatural forces. The precise nature of these curses remains shrouded in mystery, their true meaning lost to the sands of time. Yet, their presence on precious metals suggests a deep-seated belief in the power of gold and silver to amplify the potency of these incantations. The Serbian Golden Curse tablets stand as tantalizing enigmas, whispering tales of a world where magic and desperation intertwined, where the allure of precious metals extended beyond mere adornment into the realm of the supernatural. Their presence serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring human desire for justice, even when seeking it through the enigmatic channels of ancient curse of ancient curses. 10. Gold Wizard Hats In the realm of ancient fashion, no accessory could convey power and prestige quite like the enigmatic gold hats, towering headpieces that adorned the heads of elite individuals during the Bronze Age. Their sheer size, often reaching two feet in height, commanded attention, while their intricate craftsmanship and shimmering brilliance transformed their wearers into radiant figures. These extraordinary hats, unearthed across Europe and dating back to around 1400 to 800 BC, were not mere adornments, they were potent symbols of status, wealth, and spiritual authority. Their intricate decorations, often featuring celestial motifs and geometric patterns, hinted at their profound significance in rituals and religious practices. The Berlin Gold Hat, the largest and most elaborate of its kind, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of age. Adorned with over 7,000 meticulously hammered dots, this conical masterpiece transcends the boundaries of mere headwear. Its intricate design, featuring the sun and lunar cycles, served as a sophisticated astronomical calendar, enabling its wearer to predict celestial events and maintain harmony with the cosmos. The deliberate burial of several gold hats in ancient times underscores their profound value and symbolic importance. These precious artifacts were not merely fashion statements, they were potent talismans, imbued with spiritual power and celestial knowledge. The enigmatic gold hats, emerging from the depths of the Bronze Age, continue to captivate and intrigue us, their towering presence and intricate designs whispering tales of a civilization that revered the cosmos and sought to harness its power. Their legacy serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring human fascination with gold, its ability to symbolize both earthly wealth and celestial knowledge.